Hello and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John, and today I've got the That's So Old, Why Haven't I Read It Yet book tag. Now, I wasn't tagged by anybody for this, but I saw the original tag on Richard at Are You Into Horror's channel, and I thought, you know what, this is kind of a cool tag, so I figured... I'd go ahead and do it, because I do have some fairly old books on my shelf. I mean, they're not old as far as, like, they're falling apart, but they are, like, some some leather-bound copies of books that are, are really old and stuff. And then I've got some older paperback novels also. So, that being said, there are seven questions. And uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get underway. Let's jump right into it. Number one, what's the oldest book that you want to read, and how old is it? Um... Okay, oldest book that I want to read, and how old is it? Uh, I would have to say it is The Werewolf of Paris, and this is by Guy Andor. And let me just read the synopsis for you. From birth, Bertrand Calais was more werewolf than human. Born of an unholy liaison between a young serving girl and a depraved stranger with a terrible curse upon him, Bertrand grew up with the werewolf's hideous hunger for blood. Night after night, he fought to control his monstrous needs, but the women of Paris were too beautiful, too available, too tempting. First, he made them his mistresses, then his victims. A modern masterpiece of unsurpassed horror and unrelenting terror. The werewolf of Paris is not for tender stomachs. And I'm not sure when this was actually published, but the publication date for this, and this is a fairly old copy, cost 50 cents. Uh, the publication date is 1933. So yeah, that is The Werewolf of Paris. That is the oldest book that I want to read, and it is so, what, 33, 43, 53? It's old, okay? You guys do the math, because I, I get a headache if I do math, all right? Anyway, all right, number two, what is the oldest book on your shelf that you still haven't read, all right? Uh, I was going to cheat and just say The Werewolf of Paris, but actually, that's... I don't want to cheat like that. I don't want to do two books for the same thing. The oldest book on my shelf that I still haven't read, I believe, is going to be Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, which was published in 1865, and Through the Looking Glass, which was published in 1871. I still have not read any of these stories, or this, or this, I've not read this, you know? Uh, of course, this is by Lewis Carroll. And uh, I've got the Barnes & Noble nice pink um, illustrated edition. You know, not illustrated, but leather bound, leather bound. Uh, I think there are some illustrations, just small ones like right here. You can, ah, forget, oh, I hate the glare, the glare. Ah, there we go. Ones like this, and let me see if there's any other ones, any bigger ones. Uh, let's see here. Uh, here's one of Alice on, looks like she's on a stagecoach, or not a stagecoach? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, yeah, so yeah, 1865, 1871, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Uh, let's see, how does this begin? Let me see here. Alice's Adventures in Wonderlands. I'm going to read the first stanza, just for fun, all right? All in the golden afternoon, full leisurely we glide, for both our oars with little skill by little arms are plied, while little hands make vain pretense our wanderings to guide. Yeah, that is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Yes, those are, that is the oldest one that I still haven't read. Uh, let me see. Um, number three. Number three. How old were you when you read your first horror book, I am thinking I was about 10 years old, all right? Now, I was, I believe I said it one time, I was 12 or 13 when I first read Dracula. But before that, before the whole Scholastic Book Services thing and all that, I, my mother, we, we would go to the grocery store, I've said this before, I would get these little digests. One of them is Boris Karloff's Mystery Comics Digest. And another one, I cannot remember the name of it, but it was another one like that that had all these illustrated or cartoon or comic book horror stories. I love those things. You know, I mean, one of them had one called, had a story called John Bell's Devil Witch, which was about the Bell Witch. And ever since then, I've been uh, fascinated with the Bell Witch legend. So, yeah, that 
really helped me springboard my love for horror, you know. And uh, so, yeah, I would have to say I was about 10 years old in those books, those little comic books. I mean, they were the size of... You ever, does anybody remember, do they still make Reader's Digest? Somebody tell me that. Do they still make Reader's Digest? Uh, but anyway, readers, they, with the old Reader's Digest, they were like this size. I mean, they are basically the size of a paperback book. And that's how big these were, these digests were with the horror and stuff. So, yeah, I was about 10 years old. All right. Uh, let's see. What's the longest time a book has been on your still haven't finished its shelf? Uh, I actually don't have a copy of this. I borrowed this from a nurse back when I worked at the hospital doing security. But she loaned me a copy of House of Leaves. Uh, and this was back in 2010. I started reading it, but she needed it back, so I still have not finished it yet. That was in 2010, it is 2021, 11 years. It has been 11 years since I started House of Leaves and have not finished House of Leaves. So, yeah, it's a pretty long time, I would imagine. Uh, let's see. Number five, is there a book genre that you still haven't read or tried to read? Okay, let me think about still haven't read. I've read fantasy because I've read Lord of the Rings. I've read Western because I read the Splatter Western series. Uh, let me think here. I've read sci-fi. I would have to say it is romance. And I have never tried to read romance because, and I, and, you know, if you love romance, that's great. I'm not poking fun at romance, but it is just not the genre for me, okay? I cannot get into it. And the reason being is because a lot of these romance novels are so freaking unrealistic. I mean, you got these people that made love for hours until they were spent and, oh, yes, I mean, good grief. Most people, if they're going to make love, it's like 15 minutes and you're done, okay? I'm just sorry. I just find it to be unrealistic, okay? All right? And this whole thing about wake up, waking up in the morning and looking at your lover and giving them a kiss and stuff, you know, it'd be more like, oh, God, brush your teeth before you kiss me. So, yeah, I have not tried to read romance. I just don't want to, okay? Like I said, if you like it, that's great. I'm not making fun of people for liking it. I just can't get into it. I can't imagine it, all right? Uh, number six, is there a book that you have DNF'd more than once? Yes, 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 yes. Um, Floating Dragon by Peter Straub. Uh, I believe I have tried to read this book at least, uh, I'm going to say at least eight times, maybe seven, maybe eight, and every time I get to one particular part in this book and it just is like a wall comes up and I just, that's it, I can't do it, I can't finish it. The last time I tried was probably about 15 years ago. I mean, I may try to read it now, and I may have a different result, but I get a feeling I'm not. First of all, I'm not a Peter Straub fan. I thought I would give it a chance. I, I know, take away my horror reader's card or whatever. I didn't like Ghost Story. I could not get into Ghost Story. All right? I just cannot get into Peter Straub's writing overall. A few of his, I believe I've read a couple of short stories by him. They were, they were okay, but I just cannot get into his writing. So, yes, Floating Dragon. Uh, and number seven, what's the oldest book you have read? I am going to take a wild guess and say that it is Frankenstein. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, that's Frankenstein. Sorry about that. Uh, this was published in 1818. I would have to say that, yes, this is my, uh, the oldest book that I have actually read. Um, I think Dracula was 1897, so this was 1818. So, yes, that would be it. Frankenstein. And, uh, I have not read it in a while. I may have to give this a reread. All right? Anyway, that is it. That is my, my answers for the, that's so old. 
Why haven't I read it yet? Book tag. All right. So this is going to post on Thursday at around 2.30. It is Sunday right now as I am filming this, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. The working week is coming up. And yes, who is eager to go back to work? I know I'm not, but my working week has already begun. I'm actually about four days into it. There you go. Anyway, you guys have a great week. And like I said, it's going to publish on Thursday. So take care until then, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.